I'm Mike Bowers. I'm talking Biff this week with cartoonist for The Australian, the one and only John Kanilka. Oh, sorry, mate. There's something missing, mate. I think we need the graphics department to watermark us. <laughs> it was a fight that everyone was talking about. Two fairly top end of town people going well and truly at it. Actually, you think after a certain level of income, you just get your people to punch their people, essentially, wouldn't you? <laughs> But, uh, look, the price has got to go oh. to the Northern Territory news, hasn't it? Clash of the Titans was the poster. See our exclusive picture. I just can't believe we didn't get a crocodile in there, that's all. And adding to their headline from last year, which is why I put a cracker up my clacker, they've got why I've got a packer up my clacker. <laughs> Going from back-to-back -back walkies. Going there, from back-to-back. Yeah. -back. When you first saw those fight photos, did you? what did you think all the, all the writing was? Did you think someone was just... It was a meme? or? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I think someone's probably pressed the watermark button a few too many times. <laughs> David Rose watermarked his own cartoons here, which is fantastic. I love a joint statement. He sees the fighting going on between some of the former colleagues as, as being just a sad thing. We've been friends for years and still are. P. Costello, T. Abbott, Joe Hockey, as they go at it. The uh, stripy tracky decks he's got on there, actually. That's the top end of town. That's what all the executive punch ups are wearing these days. <laughs> Mate, um, speaking of uh, looking smart, what's, the, what's up with the black arm? Oh, it's, uh, it's in solidarity with my uh, uh, colleagues at uh, Fairfax for the death of uh, newspaper photography, mate. It's a very sad week uh, with the announcements and all those redundancies in the photographic world, so yeah, solidarity, awesome. brothers. Um, they say that talk is cheap, but it seems talking with a politician can uh, be very expensive. This seemed to really annoy Joe. <laughs> Lovely little Wilcox, why would I be influenced by a forum of wealthy business types paying money for access? Why would we pay all that money not to have influence? Well, it is pretty much, you know, this is how capitalism works. John Firstdog's given us a, a menu of offerings from the government to what uh, your money might buy, and some of them are just hilarious. This one particularly here caught your fancy. Yeah, how to crochet a merkin with a minister for, for education for two and a half thousand. <laughs> Chip in for that. <laughs> this one particularly. Yeah. Ian McFarlane sings the hits of Tom Waits with Bronya Bishop on euphonium for 1500 I reckon Bronwyn would be all right, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'd play a mean euphonium. <laughs> I'd like to see it play. No ceremony. smiling while she does it either. <laughs> Lovely Pope, politics today, uh, open for business. It's the Joe Hockey jumping castle. He's nailed, finally someone's really nailed Joe. As yeah, a jump, he's a big he's a inflatable jumping castle. <laughs> Run us through the fundraising sausage sizzle, John. Oh, look, this is how it gets made, basically, the, the fundraising, and nobody wants to see how the sausages actually get done. But, um, yeah, how do they get made? Trust me, kid, you don't want to know. Just... <laughs> he seems to be traipsing a lot of blood, however, from the sausage factory. <laughs> VIP access only. Yeah, shut up and eat your sausage in bread. <laughs> it seems like it's still next week, but it's already proving very costly for the government. Greg Smith from the Perth Sunday Mail kind of has drawn the point, don't mess with the uh, the pensioners because they're going to get all medieval on That's you. right. <laughs> it's a very non-medieval Zimmer frame there, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, er, guys, when I said everyone would be asked to make a sacrifice, I meant, uh, and his kicker is... On the altar of public opinion, he's given us cartoonists quite a few metaphors to work with. He certainly he has. mustn't grumble. Glenn Lelivra has drawn the budget emergency as the monster from where the wild things are. Indeed, it is a scary, scary monster. Yeah, a scary monster. Uh, and he's got Joe saying... Yep, cheer up. No one believes I'm for real either. Uh, and sitting with Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy. All right, well, look, I suppose we better assume our fight positions and... Uh, <laughs> In you go, mate. Yeah, yeah, you do the throw. OK. Back to you, Fran. Mike won't be back next week. Uh, watermarks. Watermarks. I started it, by the oh, way. you did, totally. <laughs>